Hello! In this video, we're going to present to you the differences between the political systems in the US, the UK and Norway. Hope you enjoy! The government in the US. The government of the United States of America is the federal government of the Republic of 50 states that constitute the United States, as well as one capital district and several other territories. The government consists of three different constitutions. The US is a federal system. This means that the power is divided between a national government and the states. The national government is referred to as the federal government. And the federal government has three branches. The legislative branch, the executive branch and the judicial branch. The Congress. In the US, the legislative part is the Congress, which makes all the laws. The American Congress consists of two houses, which are the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Congress decides how the taxes could be and where to put all the money. And they also make rules for the citizens in the US. The executive branch. In the executive part is the president. The president can be elected up to two four-year terms. So every fourth year then can be elected a new president. In the US, isn't it the Senate or the representative who decides who gets to be president? It's only voters who choose it. In other words, the citizens. The president is the one who has to protect the American Constitution, which was made in 1789 after a long war with the British Empire. He also has to enforce the laws which are made by the Congress. The judicial branch. The judicial branch is the third part in the American political system, and it's also called the Supreme Court. They are the ones who make the final decisions, and neither the Congress or the President can change those decisions. They can only try to make an influence on it. Once the President and the Congress have approved it, they can't take it back. The Congress can change the numbers of judges sitting in the Supreme Court. At present, there are nine members. Norway is a unitary state. In short, this means that the political authority is national. Municipalities and countries have only authority to the extent they receive delegated such power to the parliament. Parliament is the national legislator uh, and founders. Norway is a representative democracy, also called indirect democracy, where the people elect, the, elect their representatives to parliament, country and municipal councils in national elections every four years. Indirect democracy is contrary to direct democracy, where the people themselves take part in the decisions. The politics in the United Kingdom have a constitutional monarchy. This monarchy is very similar to Spain, Sweden, Thailand, Denmark and Japan. They have a queen called Elizabeth II and a prime minister called David Cameron. The queen is head of state and the pr prime minister is head of the government. Since 1999, the UK government has shared executive power with devolved governments of the Scottish Parliament, Welsh Assembly and Northern Ireland, Ireland Assembly. Each of the United Kingdom parliaments or assembles have elected political parties. The UK Parliament in London is at the head of the political system in Britain and is the legislative body for the UK and British overseas territories. One of the main differences is how much the citizens can contribute in the decision making. The three countries is different in a way where, for example, in the UK, the prime minister decides a lot more than in, for example, Norway, where the power is divided. Why do you think it is different government in these three countries? What is the main difference between these three countries' political system? Which political system do you think is the best? Which of these systems do you think is the oldest? Who has the most power in the Norwegian system?